Hi everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw! And today I am making another auto chess video. This time I want to continue talking about pandas. So boy, I hope I find some pandas pretty early. And I want to transition them into a build. I'm thinking of going either goblins, which is currently my favorite build to go uh, late game, or mages. Uh, my last panda video, if you want to check out another one on my site, shows me going panda assassin, which is really, really powerful right now. The reason I wanted to do pandas was because uh, I think they're pretty overpowered. And I just wanted to set up... Man, what luck! A panda! I mean, are you kidding? And a goblin? Alright, get out of here, you unicorn silly little billy. I got my panda, I got my goblin. Things are happening for me real fast, guys. Life comes at you quick, doesn't it? So, I think pandas are pretty overpowered. As I said in my last video, pandas are OP. And the reason for that is because you can just get a ton of great units for whatever build you're going for for free if you have good RNG. Now maybe I won't get lucky with this, maybe I will and we'll get some great units. Either way, we're gonna try to build Panda Goblin and see what we can get. Let's see, hmm. Well, I've got a lot of good options here. I, I like Tusk better, so I'll grab Tusk and maybe we'll have a three-star Tusk at some point. So, again, Panda's pretty overpowered. It's not always going to work out for you though. I mean, that is that is something to keep in mind. Just because pandas are pretty overpowered doesn't mean you're gonna get what you need because of it. Although sometimes, man, you just have a couple pandas on that board and you start getting tons of units you need for your build super early and you start crushing everybody. If we do go goblin, which right now it looks like we're going to, uh, but you never know how things could shake out. If we do go goblin, I think, well, there's a goblin for us. Man, life is funny that way, isn't it, guys? So, pop this goblin out here. If we do end up going goblin, uh, you gotta remember that getting two of your high tier goblins are both five star units, or five gold units, excuse me. So, that means you're not really finding them with any frequency up until about level nine or 10. So, when I play Goblin, I do pretty well early on if I can get a few Goblins, but if I don't get any Goblins as the match progresses and I don't get a little lucky, we start losing for a little while until we get up to around, you know, round... Ah, uh, boy, 20-something, really, until our build fully kicks in. Because once we get Goblin's full ability... Hello, sir. Welcome to our team. We really wanted you here. Um, once Until we get Goblin's full ability, I'm just going to sell those guys, we can kind of be screwed. Because Goblin's ability early on is pretty good. A random ally gets 15 armor and 20 HP regeneration. But the real synergy is when you have six Goblins. And that gives you everybody 15 armor and 20 HP regeneration, which is legit very, very, very good. So, I feel like the build really takes off when you get that full synergy. It's fine early and great late, but it's kind of weak mid-game, unless you get a couple good units. So, we're just going to hopefully use our panda to grab some of these goblins we need. And also, as we're going, if we can get mech, which we usually do, we have it right here, we will be able to get a heart of mech every time we win a match. Things just snowball pretty well if you can win early with goblins, because then you start to win late with goblins. Again, right now they're probably my favorite build. I just, oh, that late game, when you have your, what's his name, Venomancer? That can't be his name. That's gotta be the name of the other guy, right? I'll pull up his name later. I can never remember the names of all these units. But when you get that one guy, and you know who I'm talking about, and you make him your carry, and you start putting good items on him, and then he's got his built-in HP regeneration. Ooh, we're going up against another goblin. And he ate us alive. Poor us. Little does he know that we're playing Panda. Oh my goodness gracious me. 
<laughs> well, this is a weird situation. We got Ember Blade so early. He is a legit, extremely good unit. I'm going to give him... Wow, he's really good. I mean, he's a really good one to get this early. And I'm wondering... We might have our mid game be a little bit of a an assassin game. I'm trying to think. I think maybe mid game will use the assassin synergy. And then late game, we might have nine. Hmm. We might go six goblin, three assassin, three panda. Does that work out in the math? I can't. I'm not smart enough to. Uh, do that in my head. That might not actually work, but mid game we can use assassins to our advantage until we get to our six goblin. All right, that's a win, and every win we get that heart of mech. Oh boy, we two starred you, and we definitely want you. Okay, we get this item right here the heart of mech every time we win with three mechs on the board and it just gives you a free roll so it's great it's just a, a really great bonus who do i swap you with hmm. you know i'll wait one round hopefully we win without him he's a two-star unit he's probably better than most everything we have on the board right now but i'd like to keep those three mechs hopefully we'll win this round maybe we won't you never know we'll see uh, no, we lost. Foolish us. I'm going to sell this guy just so we keep above 20 gold. And now this next round, we can put our two-star assassin out there and hopefully win that round. Probably not the smartest move. I probably should have got this two-star soul breaker out there, but I didn't because I'm a fool. A fool in love with you. All right. You're coming out here. There's no one I really can drop right now to get my Assassin Synergy going. If I could, I would, but I, I would really prefer to win with three mechs out here, and I've got to keep my pandas just for the higher likelihood of finding more pandas and more units that will help us. So for right now, we've only got two Assassins, but soon we can up that to three. I'm not super concerned about winning tons of rounds early. However, it would be nice because we've got this heart of mech advantage. And if we could go on a win streak early, oof, we'd be in great shape. This team was already going to give us trouble. It was a little bit of a glacial night. And a lot of two stars. They were pretty stacked. All right, let's see what we got here. We're going to star up you. Got a two star unit there. I will probably, if we, if it looks like, oh, it's Rock Golem, so that can't happen. I was going to say, if it looks like we're winning, I'd sell that unit. I don't think there's a smart way. I could sell both of these units to get above 30, but one of them works pretty good for my team, so I think I'll just leave it how it is, and we're only going to get our 20 gold bonus from this round, our 20 gold interest rather than our 30 gold interest. Uh, for people who don't know exactly what I'm talking about, I make a lot of videos for beginners on my channel, and you can take a look at some of those, but I will try to go over my thought process as I'm playing, as we're moving towards this Panda Goblin build here. Um, when you have over 10 gold, 20 gold, 30 gold, 40 gold, and 50 gold, you get interest in the next round based on the amount of gold you have. So if you have over 20, you get two gold. And if you have over 30, you get three on and on and on until 50, where that is the cap of interest. You can get up to 100 gold, but interest wise, you can only earn interest on 50. So if I had over 30, I would have just gotten more gold that round, but it's okay that I didn't. I'm gonna put that on you. I'm basically putting everything on my Panda uh, assassin right now because he's kind of the strongest unit you know i i was recently asked in another video how do i put items on people on ps4 ps5 so fast and how do i organize that there's no trick to it the menus and ui on ps4 ps5 suck they are really bad my only advice for that is you just have to keep playing so you get better at it r2 brings up your items you just have to start remembering the buttons it's not good. They they could have done such a better job with the UI. Currently, by the way, the worst version of this game is the PS4, PS5, which is kind of bizarre, but it is what it is. That's the case. Okay. 
I will probably sell... Uh, I'm not really looking for a three-star Soul Breaker, although it does happen pretty often. Uh, I'll probably sell... In fact, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to get rid of Venom here. And uh, I'm going to keep... I'm going to make sure whether we win or lose that we've got that gold advantage and I could buy Soul Breaker there. And we're going to be doing pretty well in a lot of these rounds. Not necessarily crushing it. We're not spending much money. As you can see, we have the best economy out of anyone on the board right now. And we're winning. So, Goblin's a good build. And just getting that Ember Blade early, this uh, Assassin Panda here. He's pretty legit. He really, really is. Let's see. All right. Ooh, we, they popped up another Ember Blade. Man, if we get a two-star version of him early, that will be sick. Okay. So we got Venom here, but buying him puts me under 50 gold. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'd like to keep securing our winning streak, but I'm not super stressed about our win streak. I care so much about economy. I want over 50 gold. I really keep over 50 gold throughout most of the match unless I get into a danger zone health wise. The way I look at it is there are a few things that you really need to manage in this game. And that's your health of course because that's your win condition you lose if you run out of health. But the other is your economy which is essentially connected to your win condition. If you don't have money you can't do anything. So I really don't spend much at all. I level early to level six, basically. Um, and then after that, I save my money above uh, anything below 50. I save it the entire way through. I don't put myself in positions really for most of my builds until I'm like level eight or nine to even start rolling. And that might mean I lose some rounds and that's okay with me. Right now, I'm gonna spend my extra money again down to 50 so i have 51 right now i won't spend any more i was using l2 to buy experience which just means next oh my god we got a two-star ember blade i didn't even notice that jeez this this these pandas man you can just get so lucky with them that's like that's crazy lucky and that's all <laughs> it Got my goblin build's good. I don't even have assassins out there, but I'm doing well simply because Panda's just, you know, I had good RNG. I got a two-star Ember Blade. I'm going up against a Glacial Knight who spent 20 more gold than me, and I beat him. Basically spending nothing? I mean, let's be fair. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this Doom Arbiter, not because he's part of my build, but because he's strong. And we've got some extra gold. I'll sell him uh, as soon as a good assassin pops on the board here so I can get that synergy. But I'm going to use the rest of my money. Just level up. I'm not even stressed about, like, using my hearts of mech. I have five of them, you can see over there, near my R1 button. Uh, all the way on the right. I have five of them, which means five free rolls. I don't even care to use them until I get a higher level because... If we look at our probability here, we still have a 0% chance to find... Uh, top tier units to find our five gold units and I need to be able to find them to complete my build goblins have a few units that are really good uh, and one of them's four star and one of the uh, one of them's four gold and one of them's five gold I'm gonna take this just because I really like that item I'll put this on my ember blade Ooh, excuse me guys excuse me sorry excuse me where is he? There he is. Jeez, I'm blind. I will grab you. I will grab you. I will transition out of Doom. Goodbye, Doom. This is just going to give me our three assassins. Neither of them are really part of our final build. I'm only grabbing him so I can maybe sell some two-star unicorns. I don't even care about it. I'll drop him in a heartbeat. He's not part of my build. Okay, so now we have our assassin synergy. We've got four of our goblins. We've still got our mech out there. Uh, until we get six goblin, I could see putting a beast unit out there to get that beast synergy. Uh, I could see putting our next panda. If we get lucky enough to grab that next panda, I will definitely put the panda out there. And then again, I'm just going to continue leveling, leveling, leveling until I'm up at nine or ten. And that's when I'm hopefully going to find our 
high level guys right now still again zero percent chance to find our five gold units which is the devastator and the goblin knight i think that's his name i don't really use the goblin knight so i don't remember okay none of those are useful for us right now i'm just gonna level us level us level us do i grab razor claw Let's do it. Okay. This puts me in a gold situation. I'm only grabbing him so I can get the beast synergy. He's not a bad unit, but he's just not part of our build. If I have to, I'm going to sell this little guy down here. Skybreaker. He probably won't make my build anyway. I mean, I rarely get a three-star Skybreaker or Ripper. It happens from time to time, but they're not the units I'm looking for. If we win this round, we go from 49 to 50 gold. Every time you win a round, you get one gold. And you get that before your interest is calculated. So right now, I don't need to sell one of my bench units. The only frustrating thing about having two beasts out there is our pandas could accidentally grab one of them for us. But, you know, whatever. I don't really care. The pandas are just incredible icing on this cake so now we're level eight which means we have a one percent chance of finding those units i'm still gonna keep leveling now if our health is low and we're in trouble we're getting beat up my strategy switches right now we're doing well we have 87 life we have over 50 gold i'm not stressed at all right now if if our build is just not coming together we're screwed we're down under you know 30 health or something like that maybe down under 20 health i'm rolling i'm looking to star up my units i'm looking to maybe switch my strategy to what's going on with my opponents geez that guy is he's going goblin too right what did he have? He's got a three. Oh my god, he's got pandas too, and he's just he's finding units, man. Well, there you go. Do you see that? If we look at his board here, by the way, I pulled this up using L1 and square together. I can look at what my opponents are building. He has got he's already got his Venomancer. He's got a three-star Skybreaker already. Th those are just the pandas going dummy for him right now. Those pandas are going dummy. And we won that round basically because of our assassins, because of Emberblade. Because he's very, very, very good. Someone on the auto chess Reddit was saying they think he's the most overpowered carry right now. He's really, really good, without question. Going up against a, like a Glacial Knight with a little bit of Demon, some Cave Clan. I love me some Glacial Knight. Another great build. I think Glacial Knight's awesome. I have no interest in starring this person up. I could grab a, a Lord of Sand and maybe, maybe two star. I'll do it just for a second, but they're not who I'm looking for. Um, I'll just put another Ember Blade out there, honestly. I don't see why not. So now we're at level 9. So now our probability is up at 3% for finding those units. I bet there's an argument here. I don't actually know the math of this. So don't take my advice on this part. Do what makes sense to you. I bet there's an argument to start rolling and finding my units here. Because I think at level 10 it only goes up to 5%? Basically I'm just going to hope I start seeing them. And if I do, awesome. I can start you know, putting them in my lineup here. These are these awful PlayStation controls. I didn't ask it to do that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I like Royal Guard. I'm going to keep Ember Blade just because we've got that Assassin Synergy, though. So, again, um, I'm going to keep leveling right now. Our health is so high. I'm going to push us to level 10, hopefully, and find our big goblin units there. One thing that's unfortunate is I've got another person also searching for these same units. So they're going to be grabbing them as well. I mean, I, all I can do is hope they start getting beat and we start finding those units. I could start rolling now, but I'm going to try to grab that Devastator. I'm going to try to grab those high, high tier goblins if I can. Does he have them yet? God, look at look at what he's got going on here. I love I love his build too. Uh He's probably he's probably gonna be the one who stomps me. 
Again, this isn't necessarily, this isn't how I'd build goblins at all, of course, before pandas, because they didn't exist. And I don't, I don't remember really building goblin assassin like this necessarily. This just, we're just in this weird world of super overpowered pandas, and they're helping me find goblins, and they're helping me find other pandas. All right. Oh, look at him. He's got multiple three-star units. He, this might be like a beatdown. He, oh, he's got a two-star. This dude, what's his name again? Not Spirit Bear, you dummy. Yeah, okay, it was Venomancer. Yeah, look at that beatdown. Just rocked me. Yeah, look at the units he's got, man. I mean, we are just going to get beat up by this guy until we start finding our goblins. But, uh, I'm not seeing any yet. So, let's keep going. We're just going to keep leveling. We're almost at 10. And then once we get to 10, we turn it on. We're just going to go. We're going to start rolling. We're going to start finding all those units. We still have a lot of health, so I'm not stressed out. The only thing that sucks is he is finding a lot of the units we're looking for. So this might be a game of I waited too long. Do you remember in the Fast and Furious, the, the first movie, when Paul Walker used his NOS early and he was flying down the track. It wasn't a track, they were like racing on the street. And Vin Diesel was like, hey, it's too early, man. And Vin Diesel uses it right at the end and beats him. That's, what's, that's what could be happening to me, is I didn't use my NOS at the right time. Then again, I mean, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm being fair, that story is saying he used his NOS too early. We'll see. Everyone at home saying, Jake, shut up. All right. Next level, I start rolling. I don't want to do it now. After this next round, it's it's like, uh, I think it's a 5% chance to find those units. And once we have Devastator, I mean, maybe Goblin Knight will make it out there because I don't have Venomancer yet. But once we have that six Goblin, our build is really taking off. We're probably going to drop Beast, right? I'm just trying to do the math in my head. I would like that third panda because it just helps us find more units. Helps us find more pandas. Still doing okay. Victory. Winning some matches, not bad. All right, so now we're gonna start looking for those high tier goblins. And again, we go from a 3% chance. We'll see what this next chance is. I think it's five, but maybe it's six. Six, 6% 6 chance to find the goblins we need. So, let's start rolling, shall we? Who do we got? You're not part of our build, so I don't care. Lord of Sand, well, that's what I deserve. Here is a cannon granny, so that could be part of our build. It's not who I'm looking for, to be fair, but if it, if it gets us our six, then we'll use him for the time being. Venomancer, there we go. All right, so next round I'm gonna pop my Venomancer down here and then we can start with our six goblin. We also have Soul Reaper, who I love. I think I'm just gonna grab him and I'll switch out one Ember Blade and then we'll lose our beast synergy, but I don't care too much about losing our beast synergy right now. Let's see. Works pretty good for Venomancer. Venomancer's gonna be like our dude. He's usually our dude. He's really, really good. He's a great carry. Okay. So, I'm gonna swap you with you. That gives us six goblin. And then I'm gonna swap you with you. That gives us our, whatever that thing is called, Warlock. I'm gonna get rid of you. Sorry, Beastie, you're gone, buddy. I'm gonna move you like this. I'll, I'll pop you in the middle there. Put this item on you, and I'll also grab, I'll grab this. Oops, wrong guy. Come on, Jake. <laughs> Get it together. All right, so now we're gonna keep looking for units here in a minute. We've got our six goblin, which completely changes things for us. It makes us so much stronger. One of them is our cannon granny, which I don't personally love. I really like the Devastator. I don't really like the Cannon Granny, but it's who we have. You gotta go. All right, let's see. I'm gonna start rolling here. Really looking for units. We're gonna 
roll down to 50 looking for a lot of our guys. Okay, nobody we need. Two star you, that took forever to find. Helicopter, think about Skybreaker. I don't think we're gonna have a three star Skybreaker. But we never know. We got a two-star Heaven Blade. So I could drop our Assassin Synergy to get our helicopter in there. I could see an argument for doing that. Hmm. I don't know about that, though. Let's roll. I don't really like the Assassin Synergy for this build, but it does work pretty good with these goblins. It just doesn't work great overall. Yeah, we're still doing good, still winning. I do like Helicopter. It's a super strong unit. I don't I don't love this guy, Cannon Granny. I never I never get a lot of use out of Cannon Granny. Maybe if I got two star Cannon Granny and I really pumped him with items, I'd I'd have a different vibe towards him. Alright. Let's roll. Let's see what we can get here. Devastators here. Okay. You know what? At least you're gonna go. Devastator's coming down instead of Cannon Granny. I don't really like Cannon Granny, but I love Devastator. And he's gonna take my items here. Just give him a better ability to cast. Oops. Dude, these controls, I swear to you guys, I'm not trying to get this to do this. And of course, these controls. Okay, we gotta roll, because we got too much money. Ripper, I don't care. Soul Reaper, yes. Bomber, you guys can go. Ripper. We're doing better against this guy. Still not beating him, because uh, he's got higher start units than us, but we're doing better. What we want is a two star Devastator. That would be really nice for us. We definitely want a two-star... Ooh, Dark Spirit. Huh. Huh. Maybe we switch it up and we go Dark Spirit. My thought with that is we're dealing with people who are ha have a lot of health and Dark Spirit just drains health. I'm not sure if I love that strategy or not. I'm gonna have to think about it, but... Dark Spirit does just drain their health. Hmm. Well, now I've got a two-star Soul Reaper, so now I've really got to make a decision here, don't I? Dark Spirit is legit very, very good, but two-star Soul Reaper might be even better. For us, in the meantime, it keeps a lot of our units alive. Uh, I have to figure this out. Yes, two-star Venomancer. Welcome to, the, welcome to the crew. I'm going to put him here for now. It always depends on who we're up against. I might, I might just keep Dark Spirit around and hopefully... Guys, I did not ask this game to take this important unit and put it on my bench. These are these awful PlayStation controls for this game. Weird things happen. Ugh, it's so frustrating. It's just so, so annoying, I swear. Okay. Let's see what we got here. The real key for us is going to be a three-star Venomancer, a two-star Devastator. Those are huge, huge units for us. And this one's going to synergize really well with our Devastator, and this one synergizes really, really... Excuse me, with our Venomancer. That one synergizes for our Devastator. I'm going to go with... I'll do this one. I just like it. He just likes it. Okay. And I'm going to give you this, and... I know Ember Blade's a hero, but... I gotta put it on the Venomancer here because he's becoming our carry. Okay. Look at this. Look at what the game did. It's just moving my units around. I'm not asking it to do this. In fact, I'd really prefer it didn't. <laughs> but it does. Because it's annoying. Ooh, Ember Blade's still doing it, man. I got a lot of items. Let's put this on, just put him on one of my beefy frontline guys, and I'll put this on, yeah, why not? Okay. 
Cannon Granny. Ripper. Don't care. Soul Breaker. I've got a few of them, so I might as well keep going, huh? Strange Egg. Strange Egg. Well, hmm. Strange Egg puts us in a weird spot because we do have the ability to two-star this Dark Spirit and he's probably going to be the thing that can stop this other goblin. And we're going to be going head-to-head -head against him really soon, so we're going to have to make a decision there. Huh. Does he have a three-star Venomancer already? I couldn't see it fast enough. Well, there's a Venomancer for us. Um, all right, Heaven Brew, you're not gonna be making it to three star, I'm sorry. Hopefully we get some more Venomancers. Another strange egg. Well, I'm taking one and I'm at least doing this. The other one can be in reserve. Get some more items. Ooh, if we can get Devastator actually, well, we can also do this to Dark Spirit. So now we're coming up against this is the Glacial Knight. And I think we're gonna win this one. Yeah. Our goblin build's doing pretty well against this. Do I drop? Actually, Lord of Sand? I know I lose my assassin bonus. Hmm, my assassin bonus is pretty good, but that way I do get Dark Spirit out there. Hmm, now we got this extra panda. A little too late for you, buddy. Sorry. What do I do? What do I do? Another Venom answer. That's that's great. Um, you know what? Let's try this. I'm gonna drop our assassin, move our dark spirit here like this, our devastator like that. So hopefully he can cast. I might, I should, probably should put an item on him that lets him generate mana a little faster. And let's see how this works out, actually, because if he can cast, he does a ton of damage. And I just suck health from these guys. So maybe that's, maybe that's the way to go here. Yeah, that seemed to work out pretty good. I'd say that was probably the right plan. Now we've just got to get... Oh, they grab give us another one of those. Well... Oh, I, I actually can three-star these guys. Yeah, okay. There we go. Um... Poifect. Let's continue rolling, shall we? See who we find. You can hang out for a second. I don't think you're making the team. You can hang out. Devastator. Hi, sweetheart! Hi! Hi, sweetie. Welcome to the squad. I really want a two-star Devastator. That would just be great. And depending on... I don't... What does this one do again? I don't remember. I'm gonna go this way. And what it's gonna do is give us that life steal for our Venomancer. Let's put another one of these just on, put on Ember Blade actually. Okay. We are looking to get that two star Devastator, man. He would be huge for us. Let's see how this goes, huh? Yeah, I, I actually, I screwed up. I really need to put an item on the Dark Spirit so he casts faster. Because he didn't cast early enough to get super useful there. And he's kind of moved his units around in a really smart way to avoid that cast. So let's do this. Let's put this on you. Let's move units like so. I'm just trying to get things kind of clumped up here. You and you. Let's see what happens with that. Where's our two-star devastator at? 
Nothing yet. Oh, that's a good cast by our Dark Spirit. That's a good one. It's going to get a lot of these units right here in the middle. Which is what we needed. But we're still getting gobbled up. It'll be really good. We're, we need that three-star Devastator. Or, star, sorry, two-star Devastator and three-star Venomancer. That's who we need. And we might have to start rolling for him because we're losing health. And the point of this video is just how well these pandas did for us, which they did pretty well, huh? I don't even think, again, that this panda build's the best way to go. It just... Ooh, Devastator. Fire Hi. Ember Blades, you guys can go. And Dark Spirit. I don't think there's any way I'm getting a three-star Dark Spirit, but hey, we'll see. And now we've got this two-star Devastator, which is going to be really nice for us because, uh, I mean, these are big, big amounts of damage that hit the enemy when he casts. I probably, instead of picking the item for that Venomancer earlier, I probably should have picked the item for the Devastator just so he could cast faster because we're getting gobbled up here by these three stars. And now we don't have enough health, so we got to roll. Let's see what we find. Devastator. Explosions, the only canvas. Launch mark 11. Strange Arthur. egg. I'm looking for that Venomancer. I'm not seeing him. Strange I'm egg. An Easter egg. You found me. Hmm. You can go. You can go. I'm just gonna change my positioning. See what happens here. I need a different... I need a different... Oh, they got a Dark Spirit too. Jeez. We're just getting rocked here. I think that's the end for us, unfortunately. But, you know, a second place finish, not too bad. This panda build, man, I'm telling you, you, you get a lot of mileage out of these pandas. Oh, we're still alive. Still alive for a couple more rounds. So hopefully, I'm not going to roll right here. Hopefully we can find... Uh, if we find one more strange egg, we get a three-star Venomancer. And, you know, we might be able to find something else. But I'm thinking... thinking we're kind of near the end of our road here. We're going to put one of those on you. I'm not trying to switch these units, but the game thinks I am. And it won't let me stop. Maybe if we can get the ability to cast more, we could have our uh, Devastator cast twice in a row. That could be big for us. Or, or a Dark Spirit. The nice thing about... No, we didn't get either of them. Well, we're taking that. Not a bad item. Let's see if we can find anybody. Dark Spirit, Soul Reaper, Bomber, you tried turning it off and on Ripper. I am in Ooh, last second we got that three-star Venom Mancer. Let's see if it changes anything. Could be good for us. It's a pretty beasty unit. We're so close. This is just like so close. I don't know if we're gonna get it, but it's close. Ooh. Looks like it. Looks like it helped. The early bird catches the wind. And now we just have no money, so I'm just rolling. Okay. Um, This can go on you. I'm thinking this should go on you as well. Yeah, you just keep that. Mm. I think this... Uh, I should actually switch this on to Venomancer and switch out just that... one that gives him evasion. Let's see. 
do we win this one? We're close. This Venom Mancer is really where it's at. This three-star Venom. Is it Venom or Venom? Oh! We won! One health! <laughs> well, there you go. Um, that is a little bit more... <laughs> more information for you about pandas. That's a panda goblin there, and we just used it to find all those units we needed and then start gobbling them up. Again, strong early game, decent mid game, but it gets a little weaker, and then super strong late game once you get your six goblins. So I hope that video helped. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribes. It means a lot. Thank you guys so much for listening or watching. I'll see you next time. Mwah!